I'm not even gonna do a review. Might as well let the true Geordie sum it up for me. Oh fucking hell, man! This is shit. What was that? One more time. Oh fucking hell, man! This is shit. And again, just really drill it through. Oh fucking hell, man! This is shit. Pretty much sums it up. Might as well have shown the damn thing three times anyhow, because that's how many goals Brighton scored against us in the first half as well. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Like, you, you just can't, you can't against Brighton. Nothing's changed from last season in terms of us beating teams like this. We lost against Brighton in May, and we've lost again against Brighton in a more convincing fashion for them. Like, their press, they literally press every single one of our players. As soon as there was a loose ball, bang, Brighton were there. Four players surrounding whoever had the ball. We had no space, no time to do anything, no urgency when we were 3-1 down. You know, maybe for like five minutes, but not even that really. Like, it was absolutely pathetic. Like, I don't, I don't even know who to blame, what to blame. Yes, the defence was an absolute shambles. Eric Bailly's worst game for Manchester United by a country mile. He's usually really, really good, but... Today, shocking, absolutely shambles, same as Lindelof, uh, Luke Shaw was the only one who looked, you know, a championship level player in that game, um, the, the other three were league one or below to be honest, uh, it was really that bad, um, nothing De Gea could do about any of the three goals, um, you know, there'll be stats, I think he's conceded 10 of his last 14 shots or something for Spain and United, but don't read into that, there was nothing he could do about any of the goals, but like, I, I think Gross proper and fucking Glenn Murray scored against us like the first goal cross in it's about Brighton's 10th cross of the game already it's like what 15 minutes in and it's a, a lovely driven cross in and um, it's a lovely death finish from Glenn Murray but terrible terrible defending you think all right 1-0 calm it down you know stop er like eradicate the mistakes but no corner even worse um, I think Pogba tries to clear it kind of misclears it a um, little bit of a scramble it's played into I, I, is this one proper who scored? I don't know, but it's a lovely first touch and yeah, plants it in the, in the bottom left. And then um, we, we do actually pull a goal back. It's, it's a little bit fortunate, to be honest. Luke Shaw, uh, I think he's trying to shoot. Bobbles off the ground. There's Lukaku um, and heads it in. And then like, just before half-time, Eric Bailly completes his disaster class this game. Like, I love Eric Bailly. He's probably in this team my third favourite United player, but... It, I mean, it doesn't need to say it again. This th th that was a solid zero out of ten performance. He'll know it himself, and it it, it cost us. It really did. Rash tackle, penalty all day long, and um, whoever scores it, like whoever I've already said for Brighton, uh, three one before half time, and then we make subs in the second half. We bring on Rashford, bring on Lingard uh, for Mata and Pereira. Uh, neither of them had a great game. None of our players had a good game, to be honest. Like none. There's not any old rate above a 5 out of 10, to be perfectly honest, um, stubs or otherwise. But yeah, we bring them on and I think, yeah, we're going to show a little bit of urgency, you know. Maybe your win's a little too far, but, you know, get get a goal back. The atmosphere completely changes and, uh, you know, we can get that momentum. We beat City when we were 2-0 down last season. We also beat, was it Palace? I can't remember when Matic scored that banger. I know we won 3-2. I think it was Palace, but whoever it was against... Yeah, we were 2-0 down then, and we won 3-2. So we can come back, but in this game, never looked like it. As I say, no urgency whatsoever when 3-1 down. You wouldn't even think it. You really wouldn't think that we were 3-1 down at that point. Um, players were just relaxed. Like, you, you're taking time, you, you're walking about. Um, the, as I say, Brighton pressed really, really well, but... The, uh, Lingard came on, tried to make some runs, etc. But like the, the passes we were going for, particularly Pogba and Fred, they were like punting balls in. Yeah, we brought Fellaini on later on, um, but Fellaini wasn't always the target. They were doing it for Rashford, they were doing it for Lingard, for Lukaku. Literally just bought, um, punting a 40-yard a ball where there's no need. Like you, you have to play with your head when you, you three one down. Don't rush things. You know, if we get that goal, then the momentum changes. Brighton start panicking. There's going to be spaces that open up. But we didn't get the second goal until the 95th minute or whatever it was. 94th penalty. Another blatant penalty. But who gives a fuck? It's the most pointless penalty of all time. Pogba slots it away. It really pisses me off because my two favourite United players, Lukaku and Pogba, both scored today. And I can't, I, I can't be happy. Like, 3-2 loss against Brighton. Chelsea, Spurs and fucking Man City have already won their first two games. So, you know, that's three points dropped already. Two games in. We've got Spurs next week. I put a tweet out on um, Twitter, funnily enough, because, you know, that's how you tweet. 
But um, yeah, I said next week Spurs isn't the big game. Today is the big game because these are the games that we lose. Uh, well, we did last season. I, I'm not talking about the specific game, Brighton, which coincidentally we did lose away and we've lost it again. I'm talking about bottom 10 opposition. We lost against all three newly promoted sides last year, uh, Huddersfield, Brighton and Newcastle. And t- <laughs> it, it, those type of teams, it looks as though we're really, really struggling with. It's absolutely shambolic. I don't want to point to the transfer window because it's done, it's dusted, so this will be the last I say on the matter, but you, you can see why we needed certain players. Whether or not that would have been enough to win today because, I, I don't know, it was a mentality issue, it was a lack of quality issue, it was a tactical issue, it was every fucking issue in the book, to be honest. Next game against Spurs, I want to see us go back with a 3-4-1-2. We were rocking it in pre-season, we actually looked alright with it. Um, it. It suits our players a lot better. Um, uh, Alexis picked up a knock, that's why he didn't play today, so maybe he'll uh, slot in alongside Lukaku next game. But it's just hard to fucking um, be... Like, I'm, I'm very optimistic when it comes to United, but when a loss like this happens, it's just so hard to remain optimistic. I don't even want to think about the Spurs game. Like, it's just... It's painful to watch. Like, Liverpool will end up beating Palace tomorrow, so that'll be four teams that, you know, are in the top six. The only other one that hasn't got any points... Well, that hasn't won both their games. They've got zero points, coincidentally. Is Man- I was going to say Man City. It's Arsenal, who've played two of the top six already, but I don't know... I'm 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 just shocked to be honest. Like, I'm shocked we, we we played so bad. Like that alongside the four nil loss to Chelsea is definitely Jose Mourinho's worst worst result as a manager just because of the lack of effort. Not just the three one, just the, the lack of anything positive. Like usually when you lose a game there's something, a spark. Yeah we scored two goals but it doesn't even feel like it. Like there was nothing, absolutely nothing this game, so yeah, it's just shite. Fucking shite.